Welcome everyone to the Moon Magic Tarot channel. Thank you so, so much for joining me for this weekly lunar update. Now, this is a fantastic week to really view all your experiences as a series of openings, bringing you exactly the awareness you need to be able to proceed further with confidence. Now, whether you receive a confirmation of something being on track and you can continue with not just sustained momentum, but on certain days, um, turbocharged momentum, or if you're shown areas of your world that may need some adjustment, this week really holds an energy of a higher purpose that's revealed day by day, layer by layer. We are moving towards a full moon in Aquarius, which will take place on Friday. So let's look at the daily influence in the coming week. And then I'll give you a little bit of a tutorial where we'll look in depth at things for any of you that are wanting to know a little bit more about how all this works. Tons of love. On Saturday the 6th of August the moon moves from Scorpio into Sagittarius and there's a void of course period, it's quite long, between 11.23am and 16.39pm GMT. What I'll do in the tutorial part of this is I'll give you a bit more information about these very long periods of a void of course where the moon is not really, she's sort of moving from one sign to another. So I'll give you a little bit more information about that because it's quite significant when we have a long period. Now the lunar energy today really does feel like four seasons in a day. There's a bit of a push-pull energy or at least to start with but you know ultimately a strong start to the day really does develop into flow with a strong calling to make things real. So be balanced, take regular pause for thought breaks and invest your energy in really constructive progress. There's real opportunity today. On Sunday, the moon is in Sagittarius and the lunar influence is expansive and optimistic. So if you've used the energy yesterday in a really constructive way, um, this is a day to continue investing in anything and everything that seriously floats your boat and consciously choose to nurture your dreams into being. Move things along, whether in a practical way or in a focusing your attention kind of way, but use the energy well. It's absolutely lovely. On Monday, the moon moves from Sagittarius into Capricorn and there's a massive void of course space between 10.29 a.m. and 18.39 p.m. GMT. The lunar influence is very interesting today and we could experience a significant shift forwards, but it's going to happen in the void of course period and it's a long one. Now this shift could be just what we need. Something gets going and we can run with it. There's a liberation sometimes in the void of course space. On the other hand, if something is moving too fast, it could feel a little too fast. So be aware of this. Again, this is the void of course energy. It's not very contained. It can be liberating or it can be all over the place. So be aware and make it work for you. Go with it if that's working for you or step back and wait for the energy to slow down pre before proceeding, you know, if you're needing to, but make the conscious choice. On Tuesday, the moon is in Capricorn and the lunar influence favours very pragmatic, steady, constructive actions with the potential for just the right solution to appear and open up. So apply yourself and make the most of this lovely day of momentum. But remember, in the build up to the full moon, I said this in the overview, if anything isn't working or it feels stuck, step back, press the pause button and just take a really pragmatic approach to your thinking. You may well find that the perfect solution just arrives. This is a week where layer by layer, whatever we need to see is going to arrive. This is either going to support us or it's going to show us what we need to change. On Wednesday, the moon moves from Capricorn into Aquarius with a small void of course period between 16.39 and 18.45 p.m. GMT. Now, given the overall astro dynamics, I think we may well literally feel the shift when the moon moves between the signs, and I think we might feel it in quite a significant way. If there's any unease or discord, perhaps in your relationships, either with other people, but also with yourself, you know, within your own mind. Rather than trying to push something to happen, let the shift in the energy do it for you. Just notice, be aware and sort of practice the art of allowing. The moon is in Aquarius and the lunar energy is building. Now we are 
so close to the full moon and we can expect to really feel this in quite a tangible way I think we usually do now any tension in the air is here with purpose the Aquarian energy is holding that higher vision so this is quite interesting because there's a really amazing dynamic today that invites us to sort of look backwards and forwards simultaneously you know make links between the past the present and the future and remember you know the point of power is always in the now so there's opportunity to review the past whilst thinking about what you wish to create in the future the full moon tomorrow is a moon of higher purpose so a really interesting day of preparation I feel for this full moon energy on Friday the moon is full in Aquarius exact at 02:35 a.m GMT now it's actually on the 11th of August if you're in LA at 18:35 the 11th of August in New York at 21:35 12th of August London 02:35 a.m 12th of August in Sydney 11:35 and 12th of August in Auckland 13:35 um, you should be able to work out hopefully where you are in the world google the time clock um, if you need to find the distinct timings in your place in the world if you use GMT as your starting point you'll always be able to find a time clock um, adjustment um, you know anywhere there's so so many really brilliant sites that offer this the full moon in Aquarius naturally opens a space of insight and higher vision and this brings clarity it points us in the right direction now with so many planets in retrograde at the moment take the opportunity to meditate into a space of possibility and open yourself to receive the guidance you need to highlight new pathways of conscious activity to bring your visions of manifestation into form super souls I will be doing some full moon readings on that day or possibly the day before so that in advance you can really tune into um, wherever that needs to take you now the full moon in Aquarius actually aligns with the retrograde energy of Saturn who is father karma the father of time he's our great teacher and the bringer of life lessons he invites us to reevaluate reconsider and especially to restructure changeable Uranus the great awakener who also rules Aquarius remains firmly attached to the north node opposite the south node suggesting that events will bring us what we need though not necessarily what we want but all in the service of keeping us on track and aligning us with our purpose and calling the nodes really speak of destiny our calling our purpose so very very interesting dynamics now with Mars adding some very fiery input this looks to be an exciting full moon with the opportunity to both celebrate and validate where we are whilst also letting go of any situations attitudes and perceptions from the past that may have been getting in the way or hindering our progress in stepping up and becoming the very best version of ourselves in all aspects of our lives a very very powerful moon of transformation and given that August is absolutely astrologically such a pivotal month um, this is amazing super souls there is also an incredibly long void of course period as the moon moves from Aquarius into Pisces between 1106 a.m and 1845 p.m GMT now given that the full moon energy actually remains quite heightened in, t in you know until later in the day this is the input of fiery Mars it will ease by tomorrow but given that it's going to be heightened just be very mindful of this we normally feel the shift and the easing of that full moon intensity as soon as the full moon kind of breaks we're not going to see that today it's going to be extended but it will ease by tomorrow and a void of course space can leave us feeling kind of a bit out on a limb and a little bit you know un unanchored I mean it can also feel completely liberating but you know it can go either way so just be thoughtful of this on Saturday the moon is in Pisces and although there's a fairly mixed bag of lunar energy the day does actually start quite gently it could become a little more discordant have a little bit more tension as the day progresses but there's purpose to this I honestly feel this is a day that is absolutely perfect for processing and evaluating and consolidating everything that was re revealed at the full moon yesterday and during the week where we've seen layer by layer what is working for us and what isn't what we need to push forwards with full throttle and what we need to evaluate and 
course correct. So Super Souls, this is a day to get to it. And I will look forward to seeing you for the readings on Sunday when the moon will still be connected to that beautiful spiritual Piscean energy. And we will be able to tune in with the information and guidance um, from your spirit guides for the week ahead as well. Super Souls, thank you so, so much for joining me. I hope that these daily lunar updates are helpful to, to you in navigating your week. If you'd like a nudge, I post the actual images on Facebook and Instagram daily so you can have a sort of a reminder if you need it. Um, wonderful friends, I just want to say thank you so, so much to all of you who have been supporting me on Patreon and through the super thanks in the comments. Um, I really, really appreciate it. It is so lovely of you and thank you all for joining me, for sharing, liking and for being a part of this amazing community. Um, thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. Let's dive into the tutorial part of this video where we go into more depth, um, the kind of daily stuff that's going on, so you can look at what's really happening if you really have a passion for learning more. Tons of love and have an amazing week. Hey Super Souls, welcome to the, I guess, the tutorial part of this uh, video, this weekly lunar update. I wanted to answer a question that somebody asked me because it may be um, present for more than one of you if one person's asked and thank you so so much for getting in touch. Somebody asked me why I don't use a standard sidereal astrological chart. My reason is because there are a ton of amazingly good astrologers out there and you can tune into really in-depth astrological reports on YouTube at any time. I'm not an astrologer, I don't claim to be. Uh, I grew up with one and she's amazing, my younger sister, but I, I am really interested in the energy and the influence of the moon. The moon is our satellite and the reason I do this bit of a tutorial is because I know that some of you are really interested in learning about, you know, I post daily lunar updates, kind of what makes me think that about the incoming energy. And so that's really why we're doing this bit to kind of show you the way the moon is moving, the way her energy is coming in and how that may be influencing us. And so this is a, a, an easier way of me just tuning in purely to the energy of the moon and pointing out when she tunes into some of the stronger aspects of the planetary collaborations that are going on as well. You know, the moon moves so quickly. Just looking at this today, we're working Saturday to Saturday, um, from Saturday the 6th through to Saturday the 13th of August, and we can see how far she travels. This is sort of us in the middle of the earth. You know, we see her moving um, on Saturday the 6th. She moves from Scorpio into Sagittarius, and she's getting bigger and bigger from our perspective because she's building up to her fullest, which will be on Friday. And um, then she starts to ease off. So we can see from this sort of visually that her energy is building and her energy is building as she passes through the influence of these signs. So literally through this week, she'll move from Scorpio to Sagittarius, then into Capricorn, then into Aquarius and then into Pisces. As she moves through, and she's building in energy, as she moves through these signs, her building energy will exaggerate or, or heighten the kind of traits, the personality traits of those signs. So we're going to move from what I would call the Scorpio deep dive, looking at stuff that's maybe been, you know, under the surface, below the surface, into Sagittarius, where we, so we're moving almost um, from a shift of internal lunar exploration to external lunar exploration, where we think about how we can move our knowledge awareness into powerful positive actions that bring about new hope, new optimism, a fiery kind of energy. Um, when we get to Capricorn, we can start to make that very real by taking very solid, consistent actions. And when we get to Aquarius, we can evaluate with from the perspective of a higher purpose. When we get to Pisces, we can feel our way into things. You know, we can get the emotional element of Pisces along with the spiritual connections for spiritual guidance. So really helpful to think about the signs and the personalities in that way. And just, I think, to see the way the energy of the moon is going to flow. And what we have that is very interesting this week is we have a couple of days when there is a very, very long, void of course period. So void of course is when when the moon moves from one sign into another. 
Sometimes there's literally, she almost moves from one to another just like that. But there's usually a space in between. Now this can be an hour, it can be a half an hour, but this week we have a couple of periods where the void of course is really quite long. You know, one of them I think is about eight hours. So I'm gonna talk you through this day by day. It's really helpful to know this because, especially if the moon connects in with some powerful astrological sort of collaborations with some of the other planets that, that are happening anyway, because a void of course period in some ways, it can feel very liberating because there's no channel through a particular emphasis of a sign. So it can feel very liberating, full of freedom, but it can also feel completely out at sea. It sort of depends what's going on in your personal world. And if we hit a very powerful planetary dynamic, if the moon aligns with some of the other planets in that void of course space, it, that energy can feel either amazing or it can feel um, as if we're a bit out of control. So it's really, really useful, I think, to be aware of that. It's one of the reasons I'm doing these daily um, lunar forecasts and just looking at, at the overall lunar energy so that we can really kind of gauge how to plan our week, what we can do, what we can, what, what we're aware of. Because if you're having a day where you feel like everything's all over the place and you just think, what on earth is going on? Um, you know, and that can be quite emotional sometimes. If you, if you knew that was gonna happen, you kind of think, yeah, I knew that was happening and this will pass. You know, by the end of today, we'll be in another zone. I'm just gonna ride the waves, I'll be fine. Or indeed, you might just say, do you know what? I'm gonna step away from this. I don't need to react to this because you kind of know what the energy is about. If you don't know that, then in a way, you're kind of being buffeted by the lunar energy. We're being influenced by the lunar energy. Really, um, without our awareness it when, when we have awareness it's basically much easier to navigate the the flow of life actually so it's why we we have moon diaries and all these kinds of things so that's my little kind of talk at the beginning so let's now dive into the energy and the energetics that are literally taking place day by day through this week so Saturday the 6th, this is really interesting. So we kind of start the day with quite a strong emphasis. We're still in Scorpio. The moon is still in Scorpio. Um, she's just past the quarter point of evaluation and she tunes into the north, north and south node alignment with Uranus, the great awakener. So very powerful time of literally potential awakening, seeing things with clarity that maybe have been hidden um, and kind of quite passionate stuff. So that if there's anything going on that feels challenging in your life, it could be intensified at this time and you could feel quite strong emotions around it. It might be quite, um, I almost want to say quite a volatile start to the day, but the moon is moving very, very fast. And this is one of the days when we have a very long void of course period because the moon is going to move from Scorpio into Sagittarius today. Um, the void, of course, the space in between is literally from 11.23 a.m. to 16.39 p.m. That's five hours, okay? So very long period where the moon is sort of shifting and sitting between two signs. So if things have been a bit of a, if you've had a bit of a volatile start with this energy of the, the sort of karmic energy of the nodes and Uranus, the great awakener, Mars, very fiery, just recognize that this is probably a good time to meditate rather than take action. What will happen is that as the moon moves through, and again, still in a void, of course, she's going to trine um, Lilith. Lilith also speaks to us of unfairness, injustices. So if your passions are already high from this dynamic, as the moon moves through and starts to connect to um, to Lilith, you, you just might find you've a few buttons are being pressed, but it's an easy flow of energy. So it could mean that you find solutions or things appear to right themselves. Interestingly, as the moon then continues into Sagittarius, she then actually sextiles um, Pluto here. So we have this sort of, again, it's like we've got this one, two, followed by three. Um, so really interesting, it, it, kind of quite emotionally, um, quite an emotional day, quite heightened, intense emotions, I would say, because the moon is getting bigger. And 
Lots of opportunity for transformation, for finding solutions, but you might find that things feel a little bit like a roller coaster in that process. So this is kind of Saturday. I, I really do feel there could be a bit of a push-pull energy. We also have some background kind of background noise, let's put it that way, between Saturn, who's been tuning in with the North Node and Uranus, but is now squaring up with Mars. This is a, an influence that's going to be around for a few days. The Moon isn't tuning into this, but nevertheless, Saturn is in retrograde, calling us to really think steadily about how we how we um, restructure things, how we find solutions and make things real. Mars is really fiery and wanting to pack a punch and go for it. So we're, we've, we, I do think that we're going to see some push-pull energy. If you are aware of this, consider that the moon at this point in time is, she's trying to illuminate. She's beginning to give a build-up of energy that is going to peak at the full moon where we see what we need to see. So I think if you think of this as a week of steadying, awakening in terms of your perspectives and what you can see and what you can be shown and what you can discover and what you can try out in terms of opportunity for shifting, moving things forwards, evaluating, forming plans, I think that's a very good approach to the overall week. So let's look at at, but say at Tuesday, let's look at Sunday. So on Sunday, we've still got what I would call the background noise of, of the Saturn in retrograde Mars kind of energy going on here. It's a square, so it's a little bit discordant. Um, the moon here, I'll move that one out of our sight, so that we're now, the moon is now building, she's in Sagittarius. And as she moves around, um, I think this is really rather a lovely day actually, because the moon is going to basically, um, she's gonna try and Jupiter, for starters, that's going to be one of her first kind of connections today as she steadily moves. And as she moves on, she will actually reach a point um, where she also trines the sun. So this is kind of lovely because Jupiter wants to expand and the sun is full of creative energy. And even though you've got the push pull of Mars and Saturn calling for restructure, Mars itching to go and Saturn saying, let's take it steady and do this the right way. Um, Jupiter is also in retrograde. So Jupiter is kind of giving an expansive element, I think, to the energy because you know the moon is adding to this. The moon is saying, look, let's expand your horizons and in real terms, think about how we can initiate um, creative thinking, creative ways forward. Um, I, th I think this is a really sort of super, super day actually. And in terms again of some more background kind of stuff, um, as Venus moves around, uh, Neptune will also trine Venus. So these are flowing energies. So even though there's this little bit of discordance between Mars and Saturn, overall, I think Sunday is going to be a really powerfully positive day, pretty much for almost anything that you might wish to genuinely invest in, something you want to expand, something you want to grow, something you want to, um, again, lots of spiritual opportunities here, I think, for spiritual awareness. Venus wants balance. Um, Cancer loves to nurture things into being. Um, Neptune. Neptune is, is, you know, in the sign of Pisces. Neptune rules Pisces, so very strong energy. And in retrograde is offering you opportunity to really have spiritual understanding, emotional understanding, to underpin the way that you nurture something into being. The moon is getting bigger, feeding that flow of energy. Um, so I, I think this is a super, super lovely day on Sunday. I really do. Whatever you do, um, enjoy it and invest to the full. On Monday, the 8th of August, really interesting because the moon moves from Sagittarius into Capricorn. This is one of those other days where the void of course period is really long. It's nearly eight hours. Let's move that away so we can see where the moon is. Nearly eight hours from 10.29 a.m. GMT to 18.39 um, p.m. GMT. So this is nearly eight hours with that void of course space. Now this is a really interesting day in terms of where the moon is connecting. So she's moving from Sagittarius into Capricorn. So we're moving from that sort of expansive, optimistic, 
possibly a little bit heady sort of energy into, you know, fiery, heady energy into Capricorn, asking us to kind of make something very real and to be ambitious, but also to be very real about those ambitions. Now, very, very interesting because we have this void of course period. So it's kind of how is this energy going to affect us? We've got the background noise of Neptune and Venus still going on, but it's a very positive flow. We have the background noise of Saturn and Mars still going on. So this is a little bit more discordant, but very, very interesting. There's spiritual direction. There's awareness of, of you know, keeping a need to keep harmony, to keep things in balance, to nurture things into being, but also a push to do so. And the moon is getting bigger. Now, initially today, the first aspect of the moon is that she actually does tune into this Saturn connection. It's a sextile, so it's flowing. I think this is really interesting because although this is discordant, you know, you've got Saturn and Mars in a square. And even though the moon energy is getting bigger, she's pushing a good positive flow into this. So actually, if something has been feeling a little bit stuck, you know, especially with the void of course, you might actually find that it's quite liberating. Something becomes unstuck, it, almost as though something that you weren't able to focus on, suddenly you find you can run with it. On the other hand, what I would also say is, if for some reason something is taking off and you feel like you're in a runaway train, you know, there's always a duality to these energies. If there's something going on that feels out of your control, it could feel as though, it is a runaway train. Something's running, running ahead and, and you can't quite keep up with yourself. So just be thoughtful about this. I'm seeing a much greater positivity, I have to say, an emphasis because I feel the moon is anchoring the energy of Saturn here, which I think is rather good. So if your passions are, if you can consciously channel your passions on Monday into something that you want to make happen, this is going to be a really positive day for you. Now we have an interesting switch in the energy as the moon continues because as she moves along and into Capricorn she's actually going to square up with Neptune so again very interesting we've got this very positive piece of background noise going on energetically between Neptune and Venus with the energy of Cancer wanting to nurture something into being and then the moon starts to get a little bit throw in some discordant energy so you might find that if something was running quite well suddenly something um something feels a little bit unsatisfactory the energy of neptune um, can connect us spiritually to things in an amazing way but it can also mean that we feel a little bit confused sometimes a little bit ungrounded again such a long void of course period today i mean you literally could move from things motoring to feeling like whoa this is going too fast i can't stop a little bit out of control but it will pass so just be thoughtful of that and as the moon enters capricorn at the end of the day 1839 pm gmt it's um you know i think things are then going to sort of feel a bit more anchored and you'll be able to consolidate so that's Monday and do check out timings. Some people have also been asking about timings. GMT is the, the point at which all sort of astrological sites work. I think at the moment here in the UK, we're in British summertime, so we're an hour out. If you just Google time timings, um, you can literally put GMT in and you will then be able to find out you know, there are so, so many sites out there that you can put in those calculations to wherever you are in the world and it will show you what the timings are. So you can go back and check those over. And I do, of course, post the dailies on Instagram and Facebook. So you can find those if you wish to get a little prompt with the, the images every day. They have the exact void of course timing. So you can stick those into you. If you if you work out where you are and you know you're three hours out or ahead or behind or whatever, you just can really, really, really easily estimate exactly what's going on in your own time zone. On Tuesday, the moon is in Capricorn all day. She's starting to build, she's starting to get bigger. From a lunar perspective, this is actually quite a lovely day. We have the background, some background noise with um, Venus opposite Pluto, but Pluto is in retrograde. So if there's any discord, there's probably going to be an opportunity today to really 
look backwards, to reflect, to look deeply at what's below the surface in order to then bring about, um, you know, potential transformation. Pluto wants us to transform. Pluto wants to rebirth. Now, the lunar energy is interesting because primarily earlier in the day, the moon will actually trine with the north node and Uranus. Uranus, the great awakener, the north node opening uh, sort of destiny, karmic pathways. Um, so very, very interesting with this sort of dynamic going on early in the day and in lovely steady earthy Capricorn. So I actually feel from a lunar perspective this is a really potentially constructive day where we can find solutions to anything that we wish to move forwards as long as we apply ourselves to the situation in a kind of a a pragmatic steady way it's almost like we might get oh, I to snap my fingers and it didn't snap very well it's like those light bulb moments I always think Uranus can really bring us those openings so if you're not sure of anything or there's any discord press the pause button take it easy be steady and methodical in what you're doing and I sort of feel like solutions will just appear um, I, I think this is quite a nice steady constructive day actually On Wednesday, the energy of the opposition with, with Venus shifts so that the moon is opposite Venus, but we do have this nice trine here starting the day very, very early on with the North Node and Uranus still in place. So I think any discord in relationships, any disharmony, unease, I think there will be real potential windows of opportunity to move things forwards. Now this is an interesting day as the energy moves forwards because the moon will pass Pluto and then at, there's a, at a certain point later in the day she will actually move into a sextile with, um, uh, with Neptune here. Let me just move move that moon over because she's also going to shift from Capricorn into Aquarius really interesting shift in energy there's a two hour void of course period between 16:39 p.m and 18:45 p.m so it's only two hours i think it might be quite interesting i think we might actually if there's any discord literally feel that pivotal shift where we move from trying to take actions and trying to make something happen um, indeed things may well be happening um, but into a space where we sort of suddenly see the way forwards or we suddenly see that higher minded solution um, that's the energy of Aquarius so I think it's going to be an interesting day to see how Wednesday impacts in terms of that shift from one sign to the other with such a, a small void of course period on Thursday the moon is in Aquarius for the whole day um, she will actually move steadily towards Saturn now some interesting kind of well background noise. Um, Friday is the full moon, so we're building up to the full moon. So we're be beginning to see that um, heightened level of emotion and that heightened level of um, awareness and illumination. You know, the, we, I do feel the day before a full moon, we really can feel it. Now, very interesting sort of background stuff going on because the sun is actually starting to line up with the north node and Uranus in a square. So this is that powerful karmic awakening, great awakening, sort of shaking things up energy of, of Uranus. This is a very powerful dynamic that is present for us all at the moment. Lots of things are being shown to us, shaken up, calling for change. Very interesting dynamic, all things that need to change as well. Now, we also have um, some background stuff going on between um, between Mars and Neptune. Neptune, watery Neptune, but fiery Mars, but a lovely energetic, very flowing. Now these are, are not directly influenced by the moon as yet, but they will be as she moves closer and closer towards Saturn. Um, you know, Saturn is now moving into an opposition with the sun, calling for restructure, and the moon is already steadily coming into an opposition. Uh, when we have a full moon, um, the moon and the sun are always opposite each other. That's how it is. So we're starting to feel the influence here. I think it's an interesting day. I think it's a day when I don't know if we're going to see any necessarily sudden outbursts. I, I feel like it's, that there may be a tension around in the air. I mean, you can almost sort of see it in the dynamics, but any tension on this day is here to show us 
what we need to see in order to create change and to restructure aspects of our lives, to tweak, to course correct. If we are seeing anything, it can be tiny stuff, you know, the nitty gritty of things, or it could be bigger things that we see out in the bigger world or even bigger things in our own lives. Either way, the energy here is very much about uh, bringing things um, into awareness so that we can find higher minded solutions and answers that enable stuff to be moved forwards um, new structures built, new ways of seeing things organized. So there's a lot of, um, but also I would say with awareness of the past with so many planets in retrograde. So very, very interesting dynamic actually today on Thursday. So on Friday, we reach the full moon. So the moon is sitting with Saturn in retrograde, opposite the sun as it is, we have this background energy of Neptune and Mars. And what will also happen as the day progresses is that the moon will be squaring also with Mars, fiery Mars. Now, I think this is just a really good opportunity. I'm just gonna to read to you some information from the Art of Manifestation journal, where I look in much more depth at the new and full moons. I'll just read this through to you. The full moon in Aquarius naturally opens a space of insight and higher vision to bring clarity and to point us in the right direction. With so many planets in retrograde, take the opportunity to meditate into a space of possibility and be open to receive the guidance needed to highlight new pathways of conscious activity to bring your visions of manifestation into form. Today's full moon in Aquarius aligns with the retrograde energy of Saturn, our great teacher and bringer of life lessons, inviting us to reevaluate, reconsider and restructure. Changeable Uranus, who also rules Aquarius, remains firmly attached to the North Node, that's where we are here, opposite the South Node, suggesting that events will bring us what we need, and very much a karmic energy here, though not necessarily what we want, all in the service of keeping us on track and aligning us with our purpose and our calling. With Mars adding some fiery input, this looks to be an exciting full moon with the opportunity to celebrate and validate whilst also letting go of any situations, attitudes and perceptions from the past that may have been getting in the way or hindering our progress in stepping up and becoming the very best version of ourselves in all aspects of our lives. Super souls, um, I wish you a wonderful full moon. So that's the kind of energy we can see the dynamics here. Um, let's now look at the following Saturday. A quick full moon add-on here, Super Souls, because what I forgot to say, of course, um, very important, we've been talking about the void of course moons. Now, on the day of the full moon, the full moon is exact at 2.35 a.m. GMT. Now at 11.06 in the morning, so, you know, quite a few hours later, but between 11.06 and 18.45 GMT, that's nearly seven hours or approximately seven hours, the moon will be in a void of course phase. And so given the information that we've just spoken about, the opportunity to find higher minded solutions, to be shown what we need to see, to create much needed changes and to restructure and to learn life lessons, Bear in mind there is a long void of course energy on this day as the moon shifts from Aquarius into Pisces. That energy, as I've said before, can be liberating, can give us the freedom to just find solutions, move forwards, or it can leave us feeling a bit out at sea and unanchored. So however it affects you, be mindful of that energy and if you're finding yourself feeling liberated, then really make a note of all the illuminations that come to you. If you are feeling out at sea, make a note of all the illuminations that come to you because they'll make sense afterwards once you actually move into um, a, a different sort of lunar energy where the influence is favoring more consolidated and clear thinking. On Saturday the 13th, I think we're going to feel the effect of the full moon breaking. I think we often see that, we often literally feel it, it's that point where there's been a build up in intensity and then suddenly it's like, oof, we can breathe again. So I think this is going to be generally um, a good day. The background noise brings in a nice amount of flow. We've got um, 
as Mars is moving forwards, um, Mars moves into a trine with uh, with Pluto in retrograde. So again, with with uh, Mars in Taurus, we've got an opportunity to take really solid, empowered actions that are bringing about, you know, reflected. It's like reflected actions that bring about transformation and rebirth through awareness because we've actually thought about it. You know, two lovely earth signs here really inviting pragmatic actions that bring about transformation and the new. So I think this is quite a lovely day. This is sort of the background noise. It's not really tuning in directly to the moon. Um, as the day progresses, um, the moon will move into an opposition actually with Mercury but not until much later in the day. It's about 6 p.m. GMT time. And likewise, Saturn later in the day will move into an opposition. Well, I say Saturn, actually the sun moves into an opposition with Saturn. So we are going to see a little bit more tension later in the day, but I, I'm not seeing this as being massively discordant um, when there's so much also flow. I, I, I feel it's almost like an invitation to now consider what you're going to do with the energy and the influence and the awareness that the full moon brought you. So a day of consolidation, potentially a day of thinking and proce processing, that's really the right word, I think. So a mixed bag in that there is easy energy, potentially discordant energy, but I do think overall this for me is a day where we, we can use the lunar energy to process our experiences, to have that level of communication that would allow us, even if challenging, to recognise exactly what we're going to begin to want to do with the illuminations of the full moon. Super souls, that is your lunar update and your lunar tutorial for the week ahead. Tons and tons and tons of love. Thank you so, so much, all of you who have been checking in on these, commenting, letting me know that they're helpful. Do tune into the dailies if you want a daily nudge on Facebook or Instagram. Um, so much love to you all. Thank you so much for those of you who are supporting me on Patreon and also giving back through the super chat. And just thank all of you, for, you know, thank you all of you for being here and um, supporting the channel, for sharing, liking, subscribing. Um, you guys are awesome. And, you know, just the fact that you're tuning into videos like this, you know, this is all about the evolution of humanity. We're moving into the dawning of a new age where we are moving towards um, living in a way that brings in a consciousness of, of the bigger world, the natural world, the universal world, and the energy that is available to us to help to navigate our lives from a space of, of awareness and of consciousness. So super souls, big respect to you, big thanks to you, tons of love.